I have been speaking for the past number of days about three key commitments that the BC NDP is making for the people of BC. We're going to make life more affordable. We're going to make sure we improve the services that have been deteriorated over the past 16 years. And we're going to make an economy that works for everybody with sustainable long-term jobs for the future. In essence, we're going to be making life better for British Columbians. And one of the key ways we do that is investing in public transit. It's key to curing congestion. It's key to making sure that people get home faster. We grow our economy. We address climate change. We create good jobs and livable communities. Christy Clark and the BC Liberals have been ignoring transit for the past four years. They had a failed referendum. They imposed unfair tolls on certain commuters in the region and they focused on their own pet projects rather than the plan that's been developed by the mayors in the region. That's resulted in congestion, it's resulted in gridlock, and most importantly, commuter frustration. 16 years of BC Liberal government is not working. I want to make that different. I want to work with the mayors on a fair plan for transit and take immediate action to relieve congestion to help people. The mayors have a 10-year transit plan. They've worked hard on that. They've made trade-offs in the region so that everyone can come to agreement. And today I'm announcing that the BC NDP government will fund 40% of the 10-year plan to make sure we can get people moving again. That means we're going to build LRT in Surrey, we're going to build the Broadway SkyTrain line, there'll be more B lines and more buses right across the region. Unlike Christy Clark, we want to work with the mayors to make sure we can get people moving. And we're going to start right away. One of the first things we're going to do is work with the mayors on replacing the Patella Bridge. It's one of the oldest bridges in the Lower Mainland and it's at the end of its life. By 2023, drivers won't be able to use it. Replacing the bridge is a key part of phase two of the mayor's plan and if we don't get working on it now, it'll be too late.